Well, I guess there really is a game that's going to be played here soon, and uh, uh, we're excited about it. Obviously, tomorrow all of our preparation is done, and it's been a great week. It's been a great re week for our uh, for our coaches, our, our football team. Um, the weather's been awesome. The facilities have been great. Uh, the, our preparation and our focus from our football team, I feel very good about where we're at. And uh, we're looking forward to a, uh, to a great game tomorrow night. Front row on the right, please. Kevin Skarbinski from the Birmingham News. Gene, you said you want to win for yourselves, but do you feel like you're also playing for 1983 and 93 and 04? Auburn teams that may have been able to do this but didn't get the opportunity. Yeah, Kevin, and that's really what I was. That's really what I was mentioning. You know, when I say you know ourselves, I'm talking about the Auburn family. You know, I'm talking about you know those teams that you just mentioned. Uh, I'm talking about the people that decided to travel and come out here and don't have a ticket. You know, I'm talking about the people that have followed uh, Auburn football and they come up to you and say, "I haven't missed a game in 55 years." Uh, you know, I'm talking about all the people that pour so much, you know, our place is full of love and passion uh, and, you know, uh, an excitement for, for Auburn. And that's the whole family. And so when I say for us, I don't mean just us. I mean the Auburn family and everybody that, that, care, that cares to carry the flag. And uh, so, as I tell our players all the time, this game is not about you. It will be about you 20 years from now. But today, tomorrow, this game is not about you. It's about us, and it's about a family, and you're playing for more people than yourselves. We'll go, we'll go all the way in the back on the right. Gene Brady Ackerman, CSS Sports. Uh, the SEC has had a lot of success in this game, obviously. Do you feel pressure to keep that success going, and are you aware of uh, the success the SEC has had in this game? Yeah, I think that, you know, obviously that, you know, the SEC has is, is, uh, fared very well in this game. I think everybody has been made aware of that. Um, doesn't add any pressure to me and, and uh, the way we proceed. You know, we, uh, we're going to do what we do uh, for Auburn University. Uh, we're going to do what we do for our players and coaches and fans and administration and alumni. Uh, that's important to me. Uh, the pressure uh, of this game comes from so many different directions, if you let it. Um, there's no more pressure uh, than the pressure that we feel as a responsibility to Auburn and our people and our family. Uh, doesn't get any greater than that. That's where our pressure's at. So all the other things are out there, and everybody just can, can make, a, you know, make a, a point that there's other you know, pressures that, uh, that may come into play, but there's not. we got one pressure. We want to win this one game for ourselves. All the way on the left-hand side, three-quarters of the way back. Gene, uh, Gary Klein from the Los Angeles Times. Okay. The last time you uh, coached in a national championship game, everyone remembers Vince Young's performance against USC, but there was also a huge defensive play when you stopped them on uh, fourth and two. What do you recall about that play? And do you anticipate having to make that kind of a call in this game? You know, you never know how the games are going to unfold. That was a obviously that was a huge play that um, you know that will always, for me personally, uh, be one that I will remember. And uh, I think that that might have been the only time we stopped them on that drive in the second half, if I can remember correctly. Uh, but it was probably the most important. But, uh, you know, in those in these games, there, there's always two or three plays that are going to stand out that everybody's going to remember. Uh, that was one of them at the time. And, uh, you know, this game coming up could come down to the exact same thing. You know, a couple of plays here, a couple of plays there. You know, a turning point here, a turning point there. Uh, you know, arguably, I think everybody would agree that this is going to be a great game. And uh, in, you know, any football game, uh, you know, people will point out one or two or three things, but as we know, you know, every play makes a difference. You know, we tell our guys that you never know what you're going to do on that single play to change the game. And, you know, if there's 80 plays on offense or 80 plays on defense, your play can be one of those 80. Uh, you never know which one it is. Will it come down to one or two that people remember forever? Maybe. Um, but at the end of the day, there's going to be you know, a lot of plays are going to make a difference.
rule states that if you sub offensively, that the ref has to stand over the ball and give Auburn a chance to sub. And mm -hmm. Gene said he was going to make that a big part of the conversation with officials. Conversely, are you concerned that they may slow the game down too much? No, because we don't sub. When we want to play fast, we know the rules. So, you know, if we're trying to play at a fast tempo, we're not trying to sub in those situations. So, you know, we, we understand the rules, and, and I'm sure the officials do too. So, here in the fourth row, Coach Martin Morgan with CBSSports.com, right here. Uh, in your opinion, why is it so difficult for defenses in practice to simulate or mimic what your offense does? What are the characteristics of your offense that make it so difficult to do? You know, I, obviously we play pretty fast, and, and um, it's hard for everybody, though, and I, I think that's the nature of the sport. You know, we can't simulate Cam Newton. You know, no one can. No one has a scout player that can simulate him. So um, I think it's tough to get your scouts, your freshmen, your red-shirted freshmen, to execute their, an offensive look at the highest level possible. You know, and, and, and that's a hard thing for anybody. I don't care if you're... Auburn trying to simulate us or us trying to simulate them. You know, are we going to block it the same exact way? Is our quarterback or our scout quarterback going to give them the same look that Cam's going to give them? So I think it's difficult on both sides of the ball. You know, it's just because no one has players, scout players that are good enough to really give you exactly the speed and tempo that we practice at. Also, how do you simulate the Michael James and Kenyon Warner and Jeff Mayle and Darren Thomas? So it's, but it's the same for both teams, so. Four rows back, all the way up the yeah. right hand side. Yeah, I asked you the same question. The fact that you're here, does that mean the BCS works? I got no idea, Bill, seriously. I, I don't worry about things I have no control over. So, you know, we're playing against Cam Newton, and I'm worried about trying to tackle him and straighten out what some people consider not right, right. I don't know. Just tell me what the rules of the game are we play by. It. I don't like it. I don't, I'll put it this way. I don't agree with the speed limit, but I got to follow it, so. <laughs> 